Hey guys, I'm Justin with 702pros.com. In this video, I'm going to tell you why it's so important to create a schedule or a regimen when you're starting your new business. All right, let's get started. Oh, hey. Okay, so why is it important to create a regimen or a set a schedule when you're starting a new business? Uh, a lot of, I, I think this is really hard for a lot of people that have uh, been in a job for so long. A lot of people look at business owners like, oh, you have so much freedom to do a lot of different things. Whereas that's not really the case, especially when you're starting. When you're starting out, you're gonna be working uh, a lot more than a regular job, I would say. You're probably working 60, 80 plus hours. And then you're thinking about your business while you're sleeping. <laughs> and then you're thinking about your business when... <laughs> oh, business, please. No, you want it to succeed and 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 it's uh, it's definitely stressful to, to start a new business. Or start a new business. And I think only people that have went through the challenge of starting a business can relate to what I'm talking about. Those nice sweats and fuck. It's definitely a challenge not knowing where your next meal is gonna come from when you're starting. Yeah, because the benefit of why, why most people wanna get a job is for security. You have a lot of security when you're working with a job. You know that you're getting your paycheck, your paycheck on Friday. You don't always know that that's gonna happen in your business. You, when you're starting out, if you don't have any kind of recurring business coming in. So that's definitely a challenge. And that's where a lot of people, that's why a lot of startups don't make it. They don't succeed because they don't know if they're gonna make it. And especially if you have a family, that's a challenge as well. So setting up a, a schedule, let's get back to that. Setting up a schedule is really important. Uh, like you would go to work nine to five. If that's your schedule that you set up Monday through Friday, nine to five, you want to set that schedule. When you're just starting, you want to set that schedule. Plus, think of your overtime as overtime and log all those those times. Like, oh, I'm going to work three hours after work and that's my additional time. This is something else I'm doing in addition to that nine to five. And, and it, not only do you want to set that schedule, you want to set a regimen of what you're doing through the nine to five. You're not on Facebook or you're not doing this, you're not doing that. You want to do important things that are actually going to create income for you, like making calls, coming up with new ways to, to make money for your business. And a lot of people get into the misconception when you're starting a business even if you're a dentist, you're not really a dentist anymore, you're a business owner. Like I'm starting a dentistry pack, uh, practice. At some point, you wanna hire other dentists, like you still wanna do dentistry, but you, you have to run the business. That's your main focus, is running the business and keeping your employees employed. So at, I'll take my business for instance. I started the business as a web developer. At first I did websites and I made sales and I and I set my schedule and I and I would uh, email and I do this and I do that I would be answer them. You're doing a lot of different stuff and it's a challenge. And you're gonna be challenged to keep that going. But you need to, and this is easier said than done, and I've been at fault for it myself a lot of times, is allocating time in wrong places, like allocating too much time to developing ideas instead of being on the calls or sending estimates. And that's where that's where you keep the business going while you develop. You can't always be in forward motion. You also have to think about sales because that's what keeps your business going, customers. Focus on customers, focus on the product, focus on this. So those are the three things you wanna look at. <clears throat> In addition to that regimen and schedule, you always want to be thinking forward. So hiring people, that's going to be a step. But this, this video is focusing on schedules and regimens. So that nine to five, you want to strictly stay with it. And then also time off, you need to log that time off. You can't go to lunch for four, four hours. You have to regimen it. 
and keep that schedule or you're going to fall behind on your tasks. It's really imperative and your business will not succeed. If you don't take it seriously like a job, it will not succeed. And that's really important. No matter how great you are at whatever you do, if you don't take it seriously like a job, it will not succeed. I'll say it again. Job, succeed. Job, no, whatever. But so I hope that this video is not informative. It's just a short little snippet on regimens and schedules and keeping it and keeping on that schedule. Even if you have to get like a task manager to keep your tasks on there, um, because that's really important. And doing important things during your day. Give yourself certain job requirements and stick to those job requirements. All right. I hope that this video was, was informative to you. And if it was, please like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more information on building a business, uh, marketing, website design tips and ideas, uh, graphic design, business ideas, all that type of stuff is what we do on this channel. Um, and then I guess there's a bell thing. If you want to ring the bell, ring the bell. Um, again, my name is Justin with 702pros.com. And thanks for watching. See you next time.